since February's shooting in Parkland, Florida, schools have been ramping up efforts across the country to increase security, and some schools are now turning to facial recognition software to try and boost security. School administrators saying the software could prevent shootings like Parkland, but does this do enough? Kyle Kashuv is a survivor of the February shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland and the Turning Point USA High School director. He joins us right now live from our D.C. Bureau. Kyle, good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, what do you think about this idea where this facial recognition software would essentially take a look at everybody who goes into a school and if they're not supposed to be there, there would be a list of troublemakers and known threats that would uh, alert people and not allow them in? I think this needs to be a supplement, not a substitute. Um, I really think that we need to put more research in into this into this measure, um, but it currently seems cumbersome and ineffective. I really think that first we have to do what works and has been proven to work, and that is making sure that we have armed individuals, and then we can have this as an additional factor to security. But first we have to do what works, and that's arming teachers and staff and, and having guards on school that can act immediately. Well, you know, at your school you had a guard. You had a guard with a gun, and the day of the shooting he was outside and did not go inside, and he got in trouble. That's true. So what do you make of that, though? I mean, if that's your argument, we should have more people with guns. Unfortunately, sometimes that doesn't work. We have to make sure that we have properly trained individuals who can act immediately when there's a response. And I can tell you that right now, uh, there are states all across the nation that teachers are armed, and there haven't been any incidents with them not being able to act properly. We just have to make sure that the people who do have guns are properly trained. And, and it's been proven that if they're trained and they act immediately, then they deter uh, attacks. Okay. Since the attack at your school, uh, you know, because you've been traveling the country, more and more schools are trying to beef up security, and that is a good thing. That's true, but, but we have to make sure that every single school across the nation has a high level of security, and we have to make sure that every single school is, is armed. And because what that does is basically a target that is soft and that there aren't mm -hmm. guns protecting the school, it seems soft and it entices the shooter to come to the school because they know it's a weak target. 97% of shootings, public mass shootings, occur in gun-free zones. Okay. So how about this? How about if you use facial recognition and you had armed guards and you had uh, metal detectors? Well, I'm all for, for making sure that we have the highest level of security, but I think that right now we should be focusing right. on what works, implementing that, and then move on to other measures. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Uh, Kyle Kashuv, we thank you very much for joining us today from our nation's capital.